mobile mobile one trailer now they say this is the oldest collector car auction in existence tell you what they got nice grounds down here that's for sure food court seating yeah, Jack Daniels Future cars. All right. One thing I'm hearing, no music. So we can go through this without a bunch of music. Let's take a walk through. There's a lot of tents here. So let's check it out. Very rare. Because of battery life and time won't be able to look at them all closely. The ones that stand out, I might stop at. Nice little muscle car roll right here, huh? You gotta remember to snap pictures as I roll. All right, let's roll. See this 324 Roadster, something similar to that. The past, past car shows. How cool are these? A pair of hot rods, old school style. Yeah. A 31 Model A, all American street ride prepared. A Cuda with Hemis, 429 Boss Mustangs, L78 396 Camaros. <laughs> D28 69s, uh, 409 biscuits. That's a Biscayne. Look at that. Very plain, but a 409. <laughs> Biscayne, all red, red. Wow. Little hot rod, pedals, and gears. Yeah, I'd like to have this. Pretty cool. Look how nicely they got them parked in here. Yeah, all the way down. Let's get to be walking. Malibu got a Muncie Rock Crusher M22 four speed. L79 Malibu, which means it's a 327. That was the engine code, L79. And an Apollo, you got a 383 stroke motor in it. Ah, look at that, Monterey. 54 Merc. That is pretty. Oh, that's pretty special here. Look at that, got an eight lug Catalina. 389. 62 bench seat. Power brake. Look at that. Ah, I like that. Ah, we got here. Chevy Olay. 54 210 Del Rey Club Poop. I like it because we're the same age. Mind having that. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Got the stove bolt six in it still. Yeah, just like it originally came. Oh, ho, ho, Box Nova. Doesn't come with a hood, it looks like. 
It's a racing car. Blown dual quads. GTX. Look at that. Seventy. Orange with a wing on it. White interior. Yeah, you got. Look at that. Yep. Got a pistol grip. Four-speed tranny. Yeah, this hot rod here, huh? Three window, 36 Oldsmobile. Custom. The Yanko, 1,000 horsepower. Four fifty before I go, and I have sold four hundred dollars. Supercharged sixty nine. Three five six three. That's a lot number forty four. It's a Wrigley Junior candy scale, early nineteen hundreds era. Wrigley Junior small candy scale and gum scale, and it has been restored. Ten thousand dollars here. Now to be done in one. One, two, and two, three. Now three to thirty, thirty, thirty. That's a pretty little one. Three hundred dollar. Now three to thirty, thirty, thirty. Look at that. Blue flame six. Original nineteen fifty three. Four vet. Automatics. That's what a blue flame six looks like. Uh oh, I thought you were at 550. I took tie at five. You got five right here. You got to be 50, Eddie Ray. Three carburetors. 500 over here. Five and a half. 550. 550, and I have. Yeah, no idea. All right, so it. That in 2020, there would be a mid engine. Three five Before six that, three way for back five hundred dollars. They didn't know what they were well, starting. Number 45 is a Union 57. 76 oil advertising sign. 1950s Union oil. No smoking sign, double-sided porcelain sign. It's in its original condition. And how many dollars here? Now we definitely want. Now one dollar, one dollar. Sorry, one thousand dollars. And one hundred. Cadillac. Almost like an Elvis. Wide whites, wide wheels. Air condition. Fifty nine series, sixty two convertible. Yep. And pink. Pink and white. Pink and white. Seabird. The, the leak paper plate says America's first collective car auction company established in 1964. I'll tell you what, guys. I'm so grateful that I get a chance to come here and see all these cars, capture my video for all you to see. I said, just walk through, sponsored by, brought to you by my sponsor, Mothers, Polish and Waxes. They're here on location. They got a booth. And they ride on my t-shirts and hoodies. This yes, 66 427 turbo jet 325 horsepower white white How about yeah, it's not to be out done next door is a 67 427 three by twos 400 horsepower so my question to you is would you rather have the 67 with three two barrels, 400 horse, or 66, 427, 425 horse? Out of the number 47, 
One's a hard top. A poop. One's a hard top convertible. <laughs> what would you just say? Hey, you know what? I don't need all those ponies. I'll take a 65 with a 327. And I always call that color clear yellow. It might not be that exact color code. NCRS. Four four. Uh, we got down here. Oh, that's nice, huh? Harley Davidson motorcycles. Not black. 327 riding in that. Yeah, just when you think you saw all the 32 roasters. You see another one that strikes your fancy. Man, look at this. Yeah, 50 West Cap. West Cap. Cap is final trailer. <laughs> We're going to have to take a walk through on that. Let me widen out first. Capture the whole thing. There we go. Let's see. We'll enter. <laughs> Will this be a cool ride for Dano out on the road? Yeah, be careful to step up. How you doing? Good, how are you? Yeah, how cool is this? Yeah, this could be the Dano Lounge right here. This could be the Dano Eatery, dining room. Got the screen TV in there. We got old refrigerator stove. <laughs> oh, stop it. A sink. This is badass, huh? Imagine hitting the road with this. <laughs> How cool. Oh, way pretty. I don't know if pretty is the right word, maybe way cool. Now I'll get back here. And a toilet with a sink <laughs> and then the shower <laughs> look at that yeah. we got closets and look at that big looks to be a king bed I guess I can take company with me Really yeah. uh, the TV. How cool. Radio, shelves and all. Books. That's cool. I think I want to step out. How cool is that? That is worthy of its own separate video right there. But I would need a big truck to tow it with. Restoration and modernization. 50 West Crest. Stop a Shano trailer. Alright, let's walk back down the road and look at the other side. I like it. It's Bonneville. Man, got nice. Got the engine cover all covered up. 59. Custom interior. Now, yeah, definitely is a resto mod. Nicely done. That's as good I the poor fella. Because I have, would have no idea what to spend all the money that I had on, on a car. So many cool cars like this Woolies. Look at that. 
kind of like, I want, I want them all. It's hard to choose. Held a gun to my head, I couldn't say which one. <laughs> In student baker truck. Subline. Running somewhere. V8, that's probably a 383. 1958 Corvette. Bronco. 70 Chevelle. Look at that Bronco. That sucker shine or what? Beautiful white interior. Great model, five liter in it. Yes, 454. Red, black interior. Oh yeah, Rock Crusher Muncie M22. Tranny. Free pedal, power disc brake, pulling gears. Bona 5, Chevrolet, hot rod. That's nice right there. They don't quit, do they? Look at that. Dual headlight. Ford F100. Pick them up. Truck. 1957. I thought it was dual lights. Single lights. Still. 1957. What a change from the 56, huh? I'm going to get by these newer cars. They don't impress me much. Although that, that Porsche. Yeah, I take the Porsche. So, Ron, don't worry. I'm 14, now 15. So, 1400. 3563. Lot number 55 is an old Continental Whiskey advertising. This is an early 1900s old Continental Whiskey. Reverse yeah. glass advertising. Can I am 455. 1973. That's nice, huh? Got a soft top and a hard top with it. It's a bona fide four twenty seven. Three hundred ninety horsepower car. Yeah. I don't. 40th anniversary. That'll be a ninety one. All right, we got those on the way in. Let's walk around the back of these and go down the front of them. How's that? Wow, huh? Talk about muscle cars. But look at this big job Ford. Cab over with an extra cab. <laughs> look how tough that is. Curved window. Look at those wheels and tires. American Force wheels. I like that green paint job. Looks like the roof line had been chopped a little bit. F800, big job Ford. 56 Ford cab over. I assert. Wow. Here we got this Roadrunner. Look at that blue. 383 white guts. Oh yeah, huh? 
Uh, Hurst for speed, three pedals. Style, steel, Mopar wheels. Beautiful. Walk down the line. That is a pretty badass cab over up. Mach 1. We got two Mach 1s. Blue, white. A cougar. We have Eliminator. No reserve. Shelby 428 Cobra Jet GT 500 1970 Ooh. Boss 351 Imperial Imperial Convertible yeah. Beautiful motor 392 cubic inch Hemi. This is a 1957. Wow. Yeah, the windows aren't rolled down to show the interior. But it's beautiful. Continental kit built right into it. And look at that, not to be outdone, we got the Soto Adventure. These pin cars by Mopar were so beautiful. Large for its time. Push button automatic. Yeah, that fire and light and Soto. Dual lights. 57. 345 cubic inch Hemi. Uh, 57. If you want to get top Mopar, you get that Imperial or you get that DeSoto. Oh, what we got here? Oh, an MGA twin cam. How rare is this? There it is, 1600 twin cam. Wow. I know somebody that might want not want to see this. I know they got a white one up at Monterey. Might want to add a black one to the collection. It's all about the cam, the twin cam. Look at that, the dash, everything's original. Beautiful. Wow. <laughs> this thing is, without actually calling all around it, I'd say it's probably close to perfecto as one could hope for. Dang. Original 1500 CC. Oh, it's a 1500. I thought it was 1600. It's a 60. Twin cam roaster. Four speed manual. Original color combination. With small windshield screen in it. Twin cam. 1500. Wow. How about that? And right next, we got a bubble top. It's sporting a 409. It's a two tone, two tone Chevrolet and Pala. Look at that. And you know how you know a 409 from a 348? I'm right there. See the dipstick on a 409 or on the left side? On a 348 or on the right side? There, in case you didn't know. That's how you tell them. So there's no sign telling you it's a 409. Look under the hood. If it's on the left-hand side, the dipstick. 
You know you got a bona fide 409. Of course, the turbo, first gen, no, maybe second gen turbo. It's an 80, I believe it's a 77. And the Jaguar E Type 4.2. Check. Yeah. 86. Jaguar with wires. A 55 with a post. Looking good and red. The Z car, Watson, 71, 240Z. I think it was 71 was the first year. Might be 70. But I know they they kind of put the damper on the British light on the MGs and Triumphs. They made something that was reliable. It is fuel injected Corvette. That's how the old fuel injection used to look like. 1963. Red guts. Now that one right there. That's pretty nice. Hey, got a couple more Corvettes. A blue one, 65. No reserve. Kind of needs to be cleaned up a little bit. And a 67, another try. 3 by 2 400 horsepower, red, white top, 67 Corvette. GT500, a Shelby Mustang. Man, look at this. I like the 62 Corvettes, it's got a fuel injected. 327, yeah, fuel injector 327. Another 67. 3 by 2 Red line tire, silver, really classy, silver black. 100 horsepower. Beautiful. Yeah, 63,000 miles, Z28. All original. Next door we got the AMX. Yeah, 390 cubic inch. Aftermarket wheels, wheel with brakes. Kind of like a resto mod. Big bad orange is it called. One of 284 cars built. Ah, here we go. Look at this. A pace car. 69. 396. My friend the Johnsons, Harry and Jim Johnson. I have a car that is probably near perfect. This one looks to be pretty good. Bonafide gauge package, Muncie Rock Crusher M22, four speed hot rod. Three pedals with a power disc brake. We saw one over to Barrett Jackson also. That's nice. How about that? We'll be over at Johnson's for Super Bowl Sunday. Last year, I won surprises. Terry and Jim, excellent hosts. This is a 325 horsepower, 396. And I got a GT 500, another Shelby. Looking like an Eleanor. Guys are doing some. The guys from Mothers here. One of my sponsors, Mothers, you guys, right here. Yeah, Honey the Beach, yay! <laughs> So are you from uh, California? Yeah, Huntington Beach. Uh, nice. Yeah. So you, yeah. Did you do uh, Barrett Jackson too, or you just did? Yeah, I've done Barrett, done here, I've done Russo Steel, I'm going to hit them all. Yeah. So yeah. is this uh, just three or four uh, this weekend? So yeah, there's RM, uh, Sotheby's, uh, yeah. There's a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A lot to take in. A lot. I'll tell you, they got some choice cars in here, don't they? Yeah. yeah. You out, of, you out of California, or you're... I'm based out of California. Yeah. Okay. Um, and right. actually, um, Show Fleet is uh, helping out mothers. We're just uh, okay. doing their products and things. Yeah. So we got guys from all over the country here. Right. Yeah. They're one of my sponsors right there. Yeah. How about that? <laughs> Thanks. Have fun, guys. All right. How about that? Mothers is in the house.
442. Challenger with a 440. Another GT 350. Well, they didn't make them in that year, 350. But there it is. Wide white for that 58. Uh, excuse me, I believe we're closer look at the 60. Challenger, Kofo. Uh, Her souls. Look at that. There are all the sheets from the car right there. Another first year Corvette. That'd be a 53 Chevrolet with another blue flame six. Looks as nice as the one we just looked at. I forget what the number of production was, was it 350? So we got two of them sitting right here, one auction. How cool is that? Wonder bar, stereo, or AM radio rather. That's nice. Yeah, blue flame six special. Here's your board. Look at a delivery photo shoot, Big Amphitheater in Denver, 1953. This is number 183 of 300, you know, right in the middle. How cool. Wow, I have all this documentation. Who would have thought? Ooh. Okay, let's take a ride up the outside wall. Go 46 pack and a Cuda. But I, I've always liked these Sunbeam Tigers. Especially when you get a, I believe that's a 260 cubic inch V8 out of 65. Let's see, yeah, there it is. Four speed manual. Think it had no weight to them, they're pretty fast. I'm sure you guys that have watched all my videos know my story. That when I was like 14, 15 years old, I rode in the back seat with the top down. There is no back seats, just you lay across there. My brother's friend, his name was Barry Twilliger. He had one of these. We cruised along this road that went up to a place called Casey's Beach. Flat out 135 miles an hour. Woo. I was so, you know, imagine being that age, being in a little car like that, going that fast. <laughs> the only thing you worry about at that time is making it back and then trying to convince your friends that you weren't BSing them that you actually did do that. I mean, look at this beautiful white, black interior. Corvette with fuel injection, silver codes, wide whites and caps. Fuel injected, real hot rod, four speed, three pedals. Wow, pretty. Tachometer right in the middle. Good to see that, you know, that 53, they made it so limited, they couldn't get rid of them. Glad they stuck with it. Now, 2020, they got a mid engine. Oh, Del Air 57. How choice is that? Is that a pretty ride or what? Look at that. Why? White to black. Black and red interior. Car top car. Right next to a Nomad. 57 Nomad. Look at both. Look at these. I'll tell you what. These are. Both very nice. Yeah. Silver dash. I like the yellow interior. Look at that. 
Got to plug my battery pack back in, it fell out. Although it's not charging quick enough. Down to 34%. I got a lot to cover. So perhaps I should do what I originally said. <laughs> Just do a walkthroughs. You hear two 69s. One's a Yanko with a 427. One's a drop top SS. Automatic. Uh, not sure what you got in it. 350 cubic inch, I believe. Look at that. 450 horsepower. Yeah, numbers matching Survivor. RSSS. 350 cubic inch. Yeah. 55 Chevy. Uh, that's beautiful. Frame off, restoration. Nice color. Shelby, where's Shelby? We got something covered up. I bet it's a Nova. A Ferrari. 3.3 GT, 2 plus 2, Jerry Shoe. Wow, second to last one built. Last one made for export. Huh. Here in the Arizona desert. Look at this. Grand Sport. It's a stage car, is it? GSX. I'm not sure if it's a stage car. Look at all the documentation it has. Fuck the seats, all of that. That's up a lot number 76. 32 Ford. Funko. The Charge RT. With a Hemi. Oh. Look at that. Red line tires, dog disc caps. Yeah, he's got a Hemi in it. 426 cubic inch Hemi. Probably made it with a. Yep. Four speed. Three pedal hot rod. Look at that. Ah, it's ring big bucks. So, 450. 35, 39, thank you. Rocker 77, standard oil glass bottles and carrier. 1920, to I think they're right. Zero, four glass oil bottles with original carrier rack. Duesenberg. Custom board here. Convertible. Look at that. How oh, cool. Got that girl on it. Fifty-one four. Mm. And you got a forty with French and lights. Done in black. And a cabriolet looked like you put a hard top on it. And a thirty-seven. Look at that. Done in black, wire wheels, black walls. That's nice. Another 51 Ford Custom. How about that? 3563. That's a lot number 78. Pennsylvania Railroad Smoke Stand. 1930s Railroad Lounge Car and yeah, Custom stand. interior right there, huh? Hey guys, it's a hot rod. No, two pedals. What's your take on putting all your instrumentation in the center like that when you do a custom dash? You like it, or would you rather they just leave it alone? Look at that, Woody. Not a NASCAR. Sixty-six. Who is it? 
Greg Biffle. <laughs> Greg Biffle. And there's his push car. Look at this. That could be a Willys. Another 40 Ford with a chop top. Yeah. I have a customer of that. Qualified at San Maria West Coast Nationals. That's number 79. It's 22-4. How about that? Is that a cool pickup up truck? With a and a yeah. ah. Corvette. With a fuel car. It's a split window. It's a 63. Dual headlight. Corvette with a soft top. Fifty eight, I believe. Four twenty seven. Make a shark looking. Look at that. Four and horsepower, three two barrel carburetors. Nineteen sixty eight. So that's the first year of that new design. Some said it looked like a Mako shark. She heard. Little Chevrolet picking up truck. Nineteen thirty six Chevy. <laughs> yeah, custom covered motor. Presto. 2019. Stage 2. Yanko. Yeah, look at this. Racing car. Number 17. Yeah. 64 Cheetah. Chevrolet 327. Fuel injected V8. That's pretty cool, huh? Very impressed with Tent One. Somebody told me. One of the shows I was told him I was going to go to, he says, ah, that's a shit show. Well, I don't know what show he was talking about, but this definitely is not one. Uh, 300. It's a letter car. Chrysler 300, push button automatic. What letter? Before I expose it, what letter is this Chrysler? Hurry, hurry, hurry. The wire wheels and wide whites. It's a 300D as in Dano. 300 Dano, right there. White top, beige guts. That's pretty. And here we have it. Let's do another little walk around on that front grill. That's what a letter car looks like. A Daniel car looks like I should say 1958 Chrysler 300D. All right, with that we're gonna we're gonna shut this down and add more to it. We'll find another tent to walk through. Daniel Leak Classic Car Auction.